What's up, guys? If you want to see this Stinghouse catch, um, it is on Locals in the pinned comment. Um, obviously, it's way too spicy um, for here, so it's going to be on Locals in the pinned comment. It's only $5 a month to join. And until February 1st, we're running a promo that you get your first month free if you sign up for monthly. So anyway, join Locals in the pinned comment. You get to see this. A fire lieutenant that got caught many, many, many others early and, of course, uncensored, including where I may or may not have shoved a prod. So be sure to check it out in the pinned comment because February 1st, the price monthly is going up to $7 a month because we hit 2,000 members so quick. The demand's so high, but we're giving you guys a free month until February 1st. But after that, it's going to be $7 a month, so get it now while it lasts. What's up guys, before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment like the video. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here and Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Okay, what am I doing here? You must agree. Check. Okay. Oh my god. That's a shock. Christmas Carol. Yeah. I mean, if Ryan would believe it, so can he. What? If Ryan Valenswain can believe it, so can he. Who's that? Indian Reservation. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, I remember he was like. Oh. 
How's it going? Hi. How's it going? Merry Christmas, by the way. Hi, Merry Christmas. Is there a Gregory here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a package for him. Oh, Greg. How are you? How are you today? Good. Awesome. Hope you are having an awesome Greg. summer feeling Christmas. Huh. Oh, I got it. Yeah, he works nights. Oh, for sure. What does he do for work? Did you see the Grinch movie that recently came out? I did not see it yet. I saw Avatar Dude. earlier. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You saw Avatar? How is it? Oh. Uh, well, like when I was texting, I just saw your Avatar. <laughs> I'm not going to go spend on a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, the actual blue people? Yeah. No, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a Texan. I don't like the blue people. <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, can, you, can you hold this, uh, David? Uh, Appreciate it. My name is uh, Gordon Flowers. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I do got a package. Is this Gregory? Yes. Okay, cool. So I have some messages here to Emily I have to go over with you, man. Okay. All right. Uh, mind if we just have, we're filming for safety reasons. Mind if we just have a talk kind of across the street? We're not here to hurt you or nothing like that. Okay. We're just here to have a conversation. That's okay. cool. Okay. Cool if we kind of just, I don't want your parents overhearing, man. No. Okay. I'm not here to like get them involved or talk to them. It's Do it uh, horizontal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, I kind of like, I really don't want them over here because it's not their business. They didn't do anything. It's just kind of, you know, I don't want to embarrass, like, I don't want you to feel embarrassed with them hearing, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And those people, it's literally for safety. It's you can, so you can be assured we're not here to like hurt you or do any of that. I'm just here to have a conversation because I get it, dude. You're a hardworking guy. You got going on. I just want to talk about what happened, all right? But anyway, it's your pocket. So, I mean, obviously, you know, what you do security? Yes. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Too many, mm -hmm. too many real criminals nowadays, looting, shit, you know? But, um, so, they're just safety. Okay. No. Yeah, we're, they're not going to get close, man. I promise you. They're right there. Okay, just kind of scoot back. It's all right. Just get, get off. It's all for safety. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously the door was shut. So, obviously, I know. We both know what's going, kind of going on here. So, mm -hmm. how old's Emily? I don't know. Okay. I don't even think she was real anyway, so. Or, well, how, how, old, how old did she kind of tell you? Okay. Well, I mean, as early as today, you know, it was mentioned that, you know, this feels like a setup, this and that. I it mean, is, I, I haven't really heard of people mm -hmm. do set up, doing setups with people that are saying, oh, I'm 35 or I'm 20, you know. I mean, did she tell you an age that was a little bit young to maybe talk to? Okay. Well, she told you she was 11, and I'm going to let you know, like, just keep it real, man, because I do have all the recorded phone calls, too, where she mentions her age, Okay. So, how old did you tell you she was? Young, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, what, what is this about? Anyway? This what? is, I'm just trying to figure out, because I have messages between you and Emily. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we all know. She mentioned she was 11 in the first set of messages. I mean, the first thing it was said here to her, hey, do you want to have fun back in June? Mm -hmm. And she says, I'm 11, by the way. And you said, yummy. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see. So, I know the messages got kind of raunchy and a little bit mm -hmm. escalated. Okay, so, what do you guys want? Like, because this is a little stalkerish now, because I was never planning to do anything. I was just trying to get rid of it, because it just didn't feel right. Why are you trying to get rid of it? Because she's not a real person. I know she wasn't. Like, it was obvious from the start. Uh-huh. So, you mentioned that today that I don't believe you're a real person anymore. Yeah. Because she's not. But this wasn't mentioned any of the other times. I mean... So it was because she was, you think she was fake, not because she was underage? Is that the no, thing? No, I, I never was planning on doing that. Was that because of her age? No. I just never really do anything. Okay. I, I play around, but that's it. Okay, I but, after, never it. but after she told you her age, why did like, the conversation kind of continue? At that time, what was this, what, back in June? June. I was just tired. Did she kind of just get carried away a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it happens. 
But I mean, you know, obviously the messages got pretty escalated, I think, from both of you guys pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And I mean, do you just kind of kind of bored and lonely? Is that kind of what's going yeah. on? Okay, I figured. Was she just somebody that would talk to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't plan on doing anything. But I mean, obviously, you know, she told you. I don't know. Oh, so, well. Can you? Well, I would prefer. To come in, he can come in. Can we just go across the street and have a talk about it? Because I don't want I don't want them hearing. For safety reasons, uh -huh. uh, other because because a lot of the times people say that something like an altercation happened. Yeah. And right. if if police do show up. It, it's on camera that mm -hmm. you know yeah like we just don't want you to report us under false pretenses because wow. you know, I don't do you want to have the talk on the street over there yes. well can you have them go around the corner then please have them go around the corner or yeah we just mean you what because i'm not planning to do anything it's just this is not you know so please. Right, I mean, they can, they can, is it cool if they just back onto the street? Just go down the street, honestly. Yeah, we'll, can, we'll, we'll go to the front. But can, can, can we go to the front? Yes. Okay. Well, they, they... Sure, that's fine. Right here. All right, sounds good. So what? If I were you, I would tell your parents, like, to probably not call anybody, but... Uh -huh. So, I mean, it did, it, like, I mean, you know, because it was just talk, a lot of this. I mean, I think yes. all of it was. It was all just talk. Yes. So, is that why her age kind of just didn't really matter to you? Because it was just kind of an online thing? Yeah. Okay. It was never planned to do it. Okay. Have you ever met anybody off the internet that was, like, older, like, on Tinder or something like that? No. Okay. I don't plan on ever meeting anybody. Okay. So, are these kind of how the chats go with, like, anybody of any age, really? Or? Generally. Okay. Because online i never plan to go anywhere okay so you would never well so you've never done this before in person no. with okay so this and is I just don't ever plan to. okay that's why i'm like we're how, how did you get my address and all this because well I it just says there. your name right there and it's not hard to find yeah and like i'm mean, it's not some advanced program it's just type in your name it just pops up and it doesn't pop up my home address though yeah but your dad yeah and I could put two and two together. Yeah, okay, then why but, did you come here? Well, because I think it's pretty important to address what's going on here. Yeah, but nothing, nothing will. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing that you, if you do understand is, even if you don't show up to the meeting, you still committed a crime. Did mm -hmm. you know that? No. You didn't know that? No. So talking like this to an 11 year old is a crime in itself. Mm -hmm. It's called communication with a minor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and even not showing up, you still committed a felony. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here talking to you about it. Okay. Yeah, because you know we just want to, because you know I don't think you need any trouble or anything. I just think you maybe need some help or a little guidance one way or the other. You know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously, and you know, being that you're you don't have any girlfriends or wives no. ever married. No. How old are you now? Okay, so have you kind of gone down like maybe a rabbit hole the past couple of years of stuff just out of loneliness or? No, I'm just bored. Boredom? Yeah. Okay. Do you think maybe you've gone down a rabbit hole because of, cause of boredom? Probably, but okay. I'm not doing anything anymore. Right. That was probably the only thing. Got it. What? Would you? Guys? Oh, he's a slept. There's stalkers. Okay. What did she say? He's stalkers. They're stalkers. Yeah. Oh, he's crazy. That was parents are gonna call the cops because we really think we're stalkers. Well, why are you guys bothering me <laughs> Greg, if you tell them that we're stalkers, they're probably gonna call the cops and that's Yeah, that's why I wanna handle this myself. Please. Okay. I would tell them to not do that if I were you. <laughs> He's about to admit to going down the rabbit hole watch because of boredom. I would tell him to not call anybody, dude. It's up to 
It's up to you. I would tell them not probably not calling nobody. <laughs> All right. Can we please hurry this up? My dad is getting real pissed right now. For sure. I'm sorry to meet you like this, dude. Genuinely. <laughs> are, 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 you're not going to do anything, right? Well, I, as like, in what? Like hurting you? No, no. We're not here to hurt hell you. No. Okay, then can we're, we get this over? We're here to talk to you about this. Yeah. So, like, what's kind of the rabbit hole the past couple of years out of boredom you went down? Nothing. I'm just bored and tired. And is this kind of what's happened? This, this is the only time, okay? Other, only time with what? That conversation. All right. But in, in what way did you talk to her? What do you mean? Like, you obviously have all the right. things. Right. So. so are you saying this is the only time it's happened with someone that said they were underage? Yes. Okay. Okay, so so you mostly talk to adults is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. But I don't really talk to a whole lot of people. All right. So, th so this is the first time someone's actually told you they were underage and the conversation continued? Yes. Okay. So you remember her telling you she was probably a little bit too young then? Obviously, you have the messages, so. Right. And... So you, so you're, if you're saying this is your first time, you do remember that then? Yes. Okay. Pre okay. Appreciate your honesty. So are we done then? Do you remember her saying 11? No. Do you remember her saying, you just remember that she was underage? Yeah. Okay. okay. Did you, did you, I mean, well, I mean, I'm not holding you here, dude. You can always go inside. Okay. So what is the entire point of this thing? Why did you come to my house? Well, look, me and him came here to have a conversation about what happened, get to the bottom of this. Okay. And look. I understand it's frustrating, especially on Christmas, okay? I don't want to be here either, but, you know, I think both of us want to make sure that no kids are harmed. Yes. Okay. okay. So, so nothing is going to happen. Right. I don't plan to go anywhere with this. Right. I want to go back to sleep. I mean, I, I do work. I, I can't force you to do anything, okay. but I, I, I am going to let you know that these are in my hands mm -hmm. and... Look, I'm not right now. I'm not really satisfied with how the conversation's going. Okay. Okay. And if you want to go inside, you absolutely can. But just know that you know my vision of you is a hardworking guy that works security, that does some good things, who maybe slipped up a little bit. But if you know you're gonna have, oh, let's hurry it up, let's go inside. Then you know what? I'm just gonna say, screw this. I have this in my hand. He doesn't really want to talk about it, and we'll just end it at that. Okay. And well, but let's just... I'm gonna let. You, so do you want to finish this talk or what? Please, because. My parents are very uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable, especially with you guys filming and coming on my house. Like this is. You want to go on the street? No, I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go back to sleep. So, is this the end of this? Okay. Or... I mean, I mean, were there stuff said? I mean, was she asked for nudes from you? I have no clue. Who okay. made first contact, by the way? If you don't, do you remember? I believe I got a friend request from her. Okay, so she friended you, but you sent the first message? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then that's when she said she was 11, and then yeah. that's when the carried away started? Yeah. Okay. All right, so is this the end of it then? If we walk away from this, nothing else is gonna happen, because obviously you feel like you have to do something right now. Well, we wanna make sure you never do this again. Oh, I don't and, and like you just want to get this over with but this conversation has been going on since june mm -hmm. so do you, does it sad been, if you notice that i stopped trying to talk to her like i unfriended her and she keeps coming back and coming back and coming back this doesn't seem like you tried to stop it seems like you've well, been yeah, spamming her this june july and then we get closer and closer and then what is the, you know right so Look, I mean, here, yummy, I'd love to see your naughty nude body. So, All right, so. so is this asking for a nude or did you meet in person here? That was more of just playing around at that point. Okay. So obviously you've seen all these conversations. You, right. you, you kind of understand the point. Okay. I'm just here to tell you that it's over. It's almost. So um, like, dude, right now we're kind of asking you simple questions that we all know the answer to. Mm -hmm. And look, I'm not judging you for this because look, you can judge me for eating too much chocolate cake. You can judge me for stealing something a few years ago. Okay. So look, we can all do, we all do, I mean, I'm not coming to you mistake free, man, mm -hmm. but I totally understand why the walls are, it's not the most flattering thing to talk about, especially with your parents and earshot, dude. I, I well, totally understand that. that. You're really loud too. I'm just saying. Well, dude, I, you know. Okay. Make fun of my genetics, dude. Jeez, but look, I do have the recorded phone call. I don't think any of us want to hear it again, okay? Mm -hmm. In the phone call, so we can cut through the bulls the little wall, the little half answers, where you can just tell the truth. In the phone call, were there nudes asked for but from you by her to her? I'm done. I'm sorry, sir. Huh? This is this is as far as I go because I don't anymore. All right? Sorry.
And do you think that... Okay. Why, why the fact that you have to keep constantly coming at this one? I feel like I'm trying to on this. I'm not playing into Well, look, I'm letting you know. But, look, do you think we had to come here and have a talk with you with all the evidence we have in our hand? No, you didn't. Okay. So, let's use a little bit of common sense here. If you thought we were truly trying to screw you over, why would we be actually having a talk with you about mm -hmm. it? Because I have these, I have the recorded phone call. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... So why do you, and I'll talk quieter, okay? I'll do that for you. Why do you, why do you think I'd come here to have a talk with you if I really wanted to screw you over, man? I don't know, but okay. it, it feels a little, you obviously have my number, you obviously have all this stuff. A simple phone call could have sufficed for this situation. Or at least let me know, we could have gone somewhere else outside of my home. Do you understand that? I, my dad is also a retired sheriff. He is very... I understand it from both sides, dude. I truly do, okay? But let's please cut through the BS, all right? Okay. And like I said, you can walk away whenever the f*** you want, all right? But he's... No. This no, is obviously we, we wanted to get you some help. That's why we're here. <laughs> I don't yeah. really need any more help. I'm done with this. I was walking away from that in that moment. That's why I stopped responding to her last night. Yeah, but dude, like, the look, crime has already been just, committed. Yeah, the it's, it's like a little. It's like it's like saying, "Oh, I went and shot someone, but I walked away from it." Yeah, like the, the, the thing is, it's like, it's like, why why should we work with you mm -hmm. and try to do you that solid <clears throat> if you know it's basically just oh, you, it's like we're inconveniencing you, mm -hmm. you know, instead of you know. <clears throat> and again, it takes two to talk, all right? It takes two to tango. But in the end, you're in this situation. I'm not. Mm -hmm. You know, if you walk inside, nothing in my life changes, you know? Okay. So, again, I can just play the recording, which you already said you were on the phone call, mm -hmm. or we can cut through the BS. Well, let, let, so, so, what is it that you want to ask me? What is it that you want answers wh to? Why did you ask her for nudes on the phone call? Because I didn't think she was a real person. Okay. Because I felt like it was a, a setup and a trap. Okay, so that's why you asked for nudes? Yes. Okay. A, a person that's trying to set someone up wouldn't do it. And obviously, you guys are here. And what if she did send it to you? I would have deleted it. Okay. But that's too late, because you would have, you would have, do you know what that's called? No, I don't. It's called child Mm-hmm. So okay. why would you want child on your phone? I don't. Then why would you ask for it? And I would have reported the profile because it just seems it's really. It's too weird. late. You already requested for child at that point. Mm -hmm. So how did like your logic doesn't make sense? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right, and you know, see, like there was so much just BS in the past five minutes. All you had to say was I asked for nudes because of this, but you did ask for nudes, isn't that right? What's what does this mean? Is that a yes? Yes. Because okay. I'm trying to like. You know, because I didn't feel like she was a real person because no one would be like talking the way Right. Was. No, I, I, I totally get that at the end. At the end, you started saying that, you know, this isn't, I feel like this is a setup, blah, 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 blah. But I have a message right here that says, I don't believe you are real anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look, do you ever think about driving into a setup? Do you ever think about getting arrested? No. Okay. So... Here, one of the first things I was mentioned on your end, we are going to meet up this weekend no matter what, so you better be ready. Mm -hmm. Did you read that? Hee yes. hee. You yes. ready to get f***ed? Hee hee. I mean, I know. Did you ever go to meet? No. Okay. You just, no, you just, you just talked about having Yes. Okay. And this was like, I mean, I can, I mean, I could try to read through all this, but I mean, was the, was the word mentioned in here somewhere? I don't believe so. Okay. Was it more of just kind of very detailed stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll show you in person a little where you live because <clears throat> I want to have a go at your type. And that's basically... Okay. <laughs> well, let's be a little... Let's be a little what? A little quieter. Okay, that. sure. I'll show you in person a little where you live because I want to have a go at your type. Okay. okay. Is that an insinuation to you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Today, you better be ready to meet up today. You're a little to be... <clears throat> to get... So a lot of these messages, Greg, mm -hmm. they're all like without her responding this is like mm -hmm. double text triple text i don't even know the, the word for 10 but there's a lot of them i mean what mm -hmm. was going on there it's just bored and tired bored and tired yeah okay so i'm gonna let you know i was just kind of i was just kind of waiting to see if you just tell us but we didn't come here do, do i sound like i'm from california i don't no. 
okay, I'm not. I came from another state. He's mm -hmm. from California. They're not from California. Mm -hmm. So we, I didn't come here just being stupid, pretending to not know any of your internet history, be not knowing any of this, your previous internet stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So look, I'm gonna be quiet. I don't want your dad to hear this. You can tell them after, you cannot tell them. I don't care. All I know is that I want you to be honest, all right? Okay. It's not your dad's job to know. Okay. okay. You're an adult. All right. Okay. When did this type of stuff all start for you? Uh, probably about that time. I guess why. Right, but it wasn't only with Emily. I'm not saying there's any other girls in Riverside just kind of, you know, hitting you up like, oh, I'm underage, let's do this. But like mm -hmm. this kind of online stuff okay. with, with basically younger ladies under 18. Mm -hmm. When did this kind of all start for you? Probably around that time, why? Okay, it wasn't with Emily, I know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are you trying to imply? I'm trying to imply that obviously you didn't go from adults to just saying this type of stuff to Emily. Mm -hmm. Something had to, something had to happen to you, you had to go down a rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. And look, I know you're not, you're not, the one, you're not the one, you're kind of more of a person getting sucked. That's why I'm here to talk to you, okay? Mm -hmm. You're more of a person that kind of got sucked into this. You're not the kingpin, you're not an Epstein, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know who Epstein is? Yes. I'm sure, I'm sure what happened to him, we probably both agree it should have, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you, did something kind of suck you into all of this? No, why? Okay, so, I mean, look, so has this kind of just always been a thing then? No. Like. Well, he, what he's trying to say is what made, like, what makes you attracted to underage? Not really that much. Well, what, 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 what sparks your interest about, about under, or underage girls? Nothing really. Just no. something is that it, I was curious about and that was it. More of just kind of taboo, is that kind of what it is? Yeah. And that's kind of, is that kind of exciting or? Uh, not really, after, after I've seen a couple of events, like, not really. Okay. So, Look, there's people that produce. There's people. You, did you say after you seen a couple of vids? Yeah. Okay. It, it was on Twitter all around before. Oh, sh shocker, before. right? Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so you're not. You know, there's obviously people that produce it that have children like in right, mm -hmm. and then there's the people <clears throat> that distribute it, reproduce it, right? Mm -hmm. And there's the people that get sucked into it. And I want to think you're the third one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're one of the three. Okay. Are you the... No. <laughs> okay. So did you kind of just get sucked into this a little bit ago, or...? Uh, yeah. Why? Okay. How many years ago did this kind of happen? It was only, like, this year. This... Was, like, around that time. That was it. Like, kind of... I've kind of just been, like, you know, whatever with it. And ever since this, I'm just kind of, like, trying to walk away from it. That's why I kind of, like, got rid of that. Yeah. So... Was it like the spring or the early, early in the year or summer? Middle of the year. Middle of the year. Okay. And this was started for you on Twitter? Yeah. Okay. And you just basically saw, and again, you're not posting any of these videos on Twitter. No. You just kind of saw basically child posted on there. Yes. And Okay. <clears throat> and then you, I'm sure I was trying to get, just fill me in if I'm wrong. You, you started watching a few of these videos and kind of got sucked into something like this. Mm hmm Okay. Did, <clears throat> did these, were, they, were these on Twitter posted from accounts? I have no clue. There's so many bot accounts, I don't even know. Okay. But there would just be some random account posting like CP. Yeah. Okay. And this would be on your feed and the DMs, a little combination or? Mm -hmm. Yes, both feed and combinations. Okay. So they would, they would sometimes DM it to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And would it be like kind of stuff like mega links or? It would be mega links. Mega most of the time. Exclu like almost exclusively mega links? Yes. Okay. And then they're all taken down usually. Right. So. Right. But, <clears throat> and that's kind of how I found your history because, mm -hmm. you know, it'll, it'll right here kind of clicked on them, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, that's kind of what kind of got my like, oh, whoa, he just clicked on a mega link, you know, because mm -hmm. anybody can go on a Twitter feed and scroll and go, whoa, 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 but you know what I mean? It doesn't really show up, mm -hmm. but you know, once you click on that mega link, that's when I was like, uh, yeah, let me throw a decoy at him, right? Okay. Is, is that, you, you kind of see where I'm going here? Yes. Yeah. So with, with those mega links, what did it really show? Did it show like videos of little kids? Everything basically. Okay. Name some stuff. <laughs> you know what I, like uh, I've never clicked on a mega stuff. link, yeah. but I know what's on there. Yeah. So basically stuff. Okay. And were these like, 
because you know I've, I've met some that I've seen, and again, you got sucked into it. I know you're not a harmful dude, but have you were these stuff like in? I don't know. I never saw anything like that. Okay, was what was the lowest? Like toddlers, maybe teens usually. I think I don't know. I can never really identify because it, it doesn't exactly say. Okay. Did it just look maybe around like 11, 10, some of them? Probably. Okay. So like prepubescent? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, is there, and I'm, I'm asking you, is there anything on your phone you should delete right now? Uh, probably. I don't know. I'd probably have to double check, but yeah. Do you have Telegram? Yes. That's probably an issue too, isn't it? I don't know. I don't really. What do you use Telegram for? I use it to con communicate with my friends. Why? Anything else on there? Not anymore. No no more. All of those accounts are like either deleted or they were scams. You got the mega link crap on Telegram too? No, no, no mega links. Oh, okay, no mega. But basically, do they send you like the contents of what you would find in a mega link on Telegram sometimes? I, I don't know anymore. Because I haven't used that in a while. Right. Basically, did you see some sh on Telegram? that the person that sent it to you should be arrested for? Uh, probably, but I deleted those groups or whatever a long okay. time ago. Okay, so these were like in, the, in a group setting? Yeah. Okay, so look, I know, what, I know what happens on Telegram, okay? Basically, and again, did you create any of these groups? No. Okay, so you- I don't create anything. Right. Like, this is probably the worst I've done. Okay, so you kind of, you're more of a guy that just got sucked into this rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically these groups on Telegram, would they be, were they kind of like the Russian Russian letter groups? I think so, either okay. that or um, thigh or something like that. Mm -hmm. they, would, they would send some just illegal mm -hmm. like CP stuff in there? I think they would send a link or something like that. Okay, and did it kind of show like the preview of the photos and whatnot? I believe so, yes. Okay, how many times did you click on those? All the time, sometimes, never? Give me just a, a couple times and okay. that was it. Got it, got it. Well, um, oh, where's my phone at? Uh, oh, you got a, oh, god damn. Can you see if a Del Taco's open? Sure. Do you do you have WhatsApp as well? Yes. What do you use WhatsApp for? The uh, same same reasons? Yeah. But Okay. Like I said, it's very rare I use them anymore. Got it. <clears throat> so basically how how many younger ladies online talk to you and you know claim there were some age under eighteen? And I know you talk to mostly adults, so yeah. uh, like occasionally one or two, a couple like that. And that's besides Emily? Yeah. Okay. How old they say they were? Uh, usually they say they're preteens or like around like 12 to 14, 15, like, maybe 16. Okay, okay. But it changes so much that I stop caring. Yeah. Because I don't even do it anymore. Okay. So, I mean, this kind of became like a bad rabbit hole. Uh, yeah, just for a bit. Would you ever share these links to other people? Or would you just view it? View it. You would just view it? Okay. I mean, obviously, like, you know, asking for the nudes and stuff like that. I mean, you, you know, you know, the law, you know, that cops can't send that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, we're not, like, we're not cops, but you know, like, we can't just send you that crap. You know yeah. what I mean? So I, I do, do want to ask about the other people that claim they're underage. Do they just kind of spam you with nudes sometimes or? Yes. Yeah, some... yeah. Okay. And I assume that wasn't really stopped ever until maybe recently. Yeah. Okay, so how so this so they would these like other people that claim they were underage would send you nudes of themselves for a couple months or or certain people because okay. I don't believe most people are anybody who they claim to be underage. Right, right. Okay. Did did you ever send nudes yourself to this? No. Girl? Okay. Which I'm pretty sure you. Should. Have yeah. yeah, I don't let's see a nude. Okay. So I mean kind of stuff that should be deleted on your phone is it like in your gallery, you think maybe? Probably. But okay. I can easily delete it. It's okay. Mm. How many how many videos are we talking? Mm, I don't believe there are any videos. Just photos? Phones? Yeah. And is it like uh scenes or is it just kids by themselves or probably just a kid. I don't know. 
I, I honestly don't know. I delete my gallery so many times. Okay. I probably don't have pictures. Is it fair to say you've wiped a good amount of, and, you know, like I said, I encourage deletion, okay? Yes. Is it fair to say you've wiped a good amount of from your phone? Yes. Okay. Well, okay. I don't even have, I never really downloaded that much, so. It was just have. occasionally you downloaded it? Just once, maybe. Okay, okay. So. Are you talking to any other miners? No. Like I said, I'm pretty much walking away from it or not doing anything. Well, very, ad very admirable. I mean, I really appreciate you kind of stepping up and saying, hey, this is kind of wrong. You know, I don't want to be down this hole mm -hmm. because. Well, yeah, you know, I never really planned to do anything. That's the point. It's just online. Online, okay. Because I don't really believe anybody who is they are unless I meet them in person. And I never was going to. Right. But, you know, that's that's why I think that this whole thing mm -hmm. was probably, and I know it's your last time for sure. I know that talking to you now, but I think this was probably going to be your first time because, mm -hmm. you know, you mentioned send me the nude so I can meet you. <clears throat> send me the nude so I can meet you. Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, these past five months, or six months at this point, I mean, well, we can all tell you kind of got yourself a little bit carried away mm -hmm. and get nude now. And let's so you want to meet up, baby? I mean, almost every day you guys would talk. There's only one person floating a meetup around. I mean, it wasn't Emily. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think you went so down the rabbit hole that this, this fantasy of your kind of, what you wanted to turn into a reality. Mm -hmm. if, if like Emily's parents, right? If they were to see the, these chats, what would you say to them? Like if, if they saw these chats, what would you say to Emily's parents? I'd probably say probably take away the technology. Don't let her like talk and like tell her teacher what's not right and all that stuff. Because obviously, if she is a real person, that she doesn't understand what's going on in the internet. But what would you say by yourself? Like I, I understand Emily's like electronics should be taken away, but mm -hmm. what would you say for yourself? I'm sorry, but I never was gonna go anywhere. Okay. But you are sorry though, right, about this? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you're like remorseful. Mm -hmm. um, and do you have you ever been arrested before? Do you have like a criminal history? No. You're, you're a security guard, right? Yes. And for, for where? I don't feel comfortable sharing that. I'm we, I mean, we already know. We just wanted to see if you were going to be honest or not. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I'm security guard. <laughs> Let's let, let just leave it there because I don't really feel Do you, do you think like this kind of goes against your like, like morality as a security guard who's supposed to, you mm -hmm. know, protect, you know? Yes. How long have you been a security guard? Yeah. Over a year now. Do you like it? Yes. Awesome. You ever had like any situations yourself where you're like, I actually got to be a security guard now and protect the place from this guy? Yes. Do you, do you carry a weapon on you? No. Okay. Is that like your uniform right there? Or? No, this is just me putting on something because I was awake. Ace, Ace Ventura detective right there. No, this is just my comfort. So. Okay. Well, looks good. Looks good. Are you, are you like a licensed security? Yes. Okay. You have to be licensed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you carry mace or do you carry tasers? No, I'm unarmed. Unarmed? So do you do mostly deal with like like break-ins or or um i guard a property i know and that, that's what i'm like do you deal with break-ins into the property <coughs> or or like uh, i deal with mainly theft trespassers. oh tre trespassers yes okay do you work around kids at all no okay i'm alone most of the time. okay so i mean this is i mean this is i mean this is here and this is why like I think throughout the past couple months, there truly was, and now I know the past week you were like, "Ah, oh, this chick, I'm out." But the past couple months, truly, I want your nudes to take them since you won't ever meet. Like it got to a point where you're kind of, where she's kind of getting scolded for not meeting. Like, come on, let's meet, let's meet, let's meet. I don't think that's said, unless you don't want. To. I mean, again, I'm not going to say the past week you wanted to, but were there times where you think you're probably going to get yourself in a lot of trouble by going to go meet? 
No, like, just as a feeling, or are you saying that I was going to go meet and it was going to happen? Like, like it was you, never going to happen. Right, but I think there was feelings where you're like, I hope I get the nude so I can go do that. No, not really. I was hoping it would never happen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I, 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 this is just, and you, you know, and I appreciate you being so honest about damn near everything else. Okay, I mean, it takes a man to do that, but I mean, every, I mean, I can literally throw this on the ground and, you know, shuffle it up. And if I pick a random one, it's going to, the page is going to talk about you meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look, I mean, meet. Mm -hmm. What? Hey, sir. I think we should tell you probably what's going on. Yeah, I think you should. Okay, we will. No. I, yeah, no. I want to know. We're we're not here to we're not. You know, I, we're literally okay, trying to prove. Has he threatened you? Does he have a weapon? He's in shorts and a shirt. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's okay, it's, it's so you got. No, no. I want to know what's going on. Okay. Please. Wanna... What's going on? Let me handle it, Dad. Right. First, I want to know what's going on. So it's personal. Yeah, I understand that. But if it's considered to be a crime, I want to know. Yeah, well, you're Probably right. It is. Yeah. But, you know, right. let me handle. What it, type please. of a crime? A uh, child crime. Nothing happened. Well, obviously something happened, or they wouldn't be here. Can I handle it? Though? Well, you're doing a poor job if you're letting them take statements from you. We're just here to talk to you, man. I understand. Like, that. you know, we're obviously not recording cops. them. And you're taking statements from them that could be used against them later, correct? I mean, yeah, of course they could be, but I'm not well, saying I'm here to do that. So I mean, what's in his best interest right now? You're acting like you're doing this out of good faith. For sure. But all you're doing is repeatedly asking questions over and over and having it. So well, does he need an attorney is the question at this point in time. Well, again, I'm not here to give legal advice. I'm just here to talk to him, but I mean... And who do you represent? Oh, I'm not law enforcement. Yes, but who do you... Re obviously, you're not somebody that just runs around doing stuff, correct? Right, right. So we have a group that... We basically make sure kids and adults don't talk to each other online. Mm -hmm. Like, are you familiar with uh, the group um, Justice and... Uh, okay. Yeah. So we just need to make sure everything's kept kosher and whatnot. I know it's Christmas, so, you know, maybe not kosher today, but kept kosher in general, you know what I mean? Hi, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. All right. What's happening? Nothing much. All right. All right, well, give me a few seconds with him. Okay. Oh, what a little... Not the dad, but him. Yeah, I just I come out of the tunnel with some smoke and just like run onto the field. <laughs> well, uh, feel like yeah. Actually. So, is this a criminal matter? Is this what? Is this a criminal matter? Are you going to do anything? Because obviously you're the one that posed as her, correct? Well, I, I didn't pose as her. I mean, I don't look like her at all, do I? Well, obviously you get said you brought a decoy. That was your decoy. Are you saying he's a decoy? I don't know. He's obviously not the decoy. I mean, yeah. well, look, I mean, because as soon as I say it's a criminal matter, you're probably going to go inside. And I mean, yeah, dude, like you I said, could if you want to. Yeah, we're I mean, not. Anyway, so what is the entire purpose of this right now? We just Literally wanted to, to make sure you happened. never do this again. And maybe if you if if you like owned up to it, then maybe we can get you some help at the end. Like, do you have have you ever been to therapy before? You've never been to therapy? You don't no. have, do you have a medical insurance? Yes, I do, but I don't really feel like I need to go to therapy. Well, this is, you, just, you just said yourself, like we were okay. talking over there, you said so, that, like you had a problem, right? Okay, let's just me and you, me and him talk, because. Go ahead, talk, he wants to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, basically, yeah, I mean, dude, you've been mostly honest with me. So like I said, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be solid with you. Yeah, this was a decoy you were talking to. I'm sure, as you figured, right? But 
you know, if you weren't in this rabbit hole, you'd look at this and be like, I don't know, I don't care if she's real or not. I mean, this is like, what the fuck? She told me she's 11. There's no, there's no next step, you know? There's no, there's no probing, you know? I mean, I mean, I think that's kind of what you were doing the whole time. You're kind of probing, you know? Mm -hmm. Why were you probing? Because is, I don't do, believe any that he's real on the internet, I guess. Right, but, you know, what, what's kind of getting me, man, is... Well, it just seems like you're... And it just seems like you're trying to get me in trouble. Because that's what my dad is saying. Because obviously you won't talk to me without the camera. Well, because all it takes is, and, you know, I trust you. I mean, did you, was he really a sheriff back in the day? Yes. I mean, I and trust he's him. advising me not to continue talking to you unless, because you're just wrong. And I have no evidence to believe that you are not going to do anything. No, I mean, that's fair. I mean, you don't. I mean, I, all I can tell you is that I just want to have a talk with you. I mean, you can, you can, you can, you can believe me. I mean, you can genuinely believe me or not, dude. But... What, what's just kind of getting me is that, here, I'm gonna just give this, give him this. Just leave it on this screen. What's kind of, what's kind of getting me, Greg, is that, you know, <clears throat> what's kind of, what's kind of getting me is that, you know, even when we're talking here, you know, you tell the truth, you know, you do. But, you know, I, I hear a lot of, uh, I hear a lot of not full answers, you know, like I hear a lot of... What exactly are you trying to get me to say? Because it obviously seems like you're trying to... Right, right. I mean, I... Me. No, dude, you incriminated yourself here. Yeah. Okay. okay. The phone call incriminated you. I don't need to incriminate you for Okay. But, you know, I can always see like, hey, is this somebody that's honest? Like, okay, look, if I was your boss at the security place mm -hmm. and you, you, do you have a coworker at all? I have... I'm actually the supervisor, so I have plenty of Okay, there we go. So, say there's another supervisor. You, you, you're a supervisor, somebody else is a supervisor. Mm -hmm. And you guys both... Uh, Can we just get to the point? Because... Yeah. But if you guys were both caught stealing candy from the store you work mm -hmm. at, whatever, would I want to work with somebody who just told the truth about it or just said, oh, I didn't steal the candy, even though it's on camera sure. and it's obvious? So. Right. So, when, when, I, when I see something in the chat, like, you know, I don't... I don't believe you're real anymore. I don't believe you're real anymore. Mm -hmm. And after you said that, that's coincidentally what you stopped asking to be unless you got a nude. Mm -hmm. So that tells me that up until a week ago, maybe when you snapped out of this spell that you were under, that you wanted to meet her very badly. I mean, I begging. You were begging. You were begging to. Yeah. You, you were begging because to. Because I said so doesn't mean I was going to. Right. But, you know, that, that could be true. Truly, it could be true. But as soon as... As soon as an address gets asked for from her, Let, let's go in the back. Cause... I can't veer that far, dude. Well, obviously you're just gonna keep going on and on and on. I've told you I don't plan to do anything. I'm done with this, and obviously you keep coming at it. I want to know what what else do you want? Right, but when it, when an address is asked for. That's when all this talk, which of course it could be talk. I can tell a girl in New York I want to have sex with her. It doesn't mean I'm going to go to New York and have sex with her. Mm -hmm. But when she's saying she's in Riverside, you're asking for an address to come over and. Mm -hmm. That's literally everything. That's literally everything. Okay. That's literally everything. So, you know, are you going to keep, the, keep this at 95% of the truth about the child, about this newfound attraction to younger ladies under 18 you have? This has been sure, completely yeah. the truth. I have nothing right. else. But as soon as you ask for an address, obviously you wouldn't, if you didn't care about meeting her, you wouldn't have asked for an address. And you know this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell the truth. I am telling the truth. I never was going to meet her. You wanted to. No, I didn't. Then why was it said so many damn times? Because I'm just playing around. That's but, it. But no, when you asked for the address, it wasn't playing around. Why'd you ask for an address? Because I didn't believe she was in the same state. That's why I asked for these addresses. And when it's just conveniently in the same location as I am, no. Okay, but even after that, you still kept asking to meet. Even on the phone, you kept asking to meet. Mm -hmm. Send me a nude so we can meet. Yeah, because I knew it wasn't, it wasn't real. 
That's but, why. But that's the thing. Why would you keep asking for nudes? Because, to go meet, because you I want them to leave me alone. That's why. No. She kept okay. calling me. How, does, how does asking for nudes push her away, man? How's that supposed to push her alone? I mean, what were you planning on doing to leave her alone? Were you going to try to tell her parents? Or what were you trying to do? I was getting ready to block her, honestly. Because she, I unfriended her, stopped talking to her. And she keeps saying, hi, hey, 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 hey. Right, but this only happened after she wouldn't send you a nude. Mm. So, if you're asking a nude for a nude from her for five months, where she's not even responding to you, mm. you're trying to get her to leave you alone. Look at every single message almost. This is you double texting, you triple texting, mm -hmm. you triple texting. Okay. You quadruple texting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Within the span of six hours, you triple texted her. I'm waiting my little toy. Take pics of you in your underwear too. Let's end your virginity. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you remember saying stuff like that throughout the whole convo? Obviously, that you got pictures of it. But... Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So if all of this is being said, Cut the crap. I mean, why? I mean, why did you want to go do this? I never wanted to. Yes, do it. you. I mean, come on, man. I was playing out a fantasy. Let's just. That's literally it is. I mean, I, I look. I know you weren't gonna go per and kill or do any of that. Okay. I'm gonna give a meter. Huh? I'm sorry, but I was never planning a meter. Don't plan to do anything like that. Never really was gonna do anything. I just, I just sense that's bull. I mean, every, everybody, everybody knows, dude. Everybody here talking to you knows this. Everybody does. I don't, I don't know why just, you just don't tell the truth about it. I am being honest, honestly. It just makes you look like in a worse light. I mean, it's so weird. You can be honest about CP. You can be honest about all this other stuff. But, mm -hmm. of course, when somebody go, gets sucked into this rabbit hole like you did, you're going to want to go the extra step further, which is what's expressed in all of these messages right here. Asking yes, for pictures. Because it's a fantasy. I'm, I'm honestly being honest with you. I'm never gonna meet her. Never was planning to meet her. Playing out a fantasy. I knew she was not real from the moment. That's 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 horrible. Because you well, said I don't believe you're real anymore, anymore, okay. anymore. So, so there so there was points where you believe she was real. Mm -hmm. So when did that stop? Probably a couple of weeks after talking to her. That's it. Okay. So on the first day, you still asked her to meet. Mm -hmm. So that's who you believed was a real girl. You asked her to meet her. This is what you just told me. Because if you, if, you, if you said it took a few weeks for you to believe she was fake, which is bull****. It took you till last week. Mm -hmm. It was last week when you believed she was fake because that's when you stopped texting her. I always believed she was fake. From so why would you say it just took a couple of weeks for you to figure that out? Are you going to keep changing your answer? I mean, stick to something. Well, I'm trying to... To help me out, but it's like when I ask you, what exactly do you want to hear from me? The truth. And I'm giving you the truth. I've given you the majority of the truth. I've talked to you. I've given yeah. you every single answer. But that's, it just that's, seems that's, like you that's, guys that's are what I, that's, that's, yeah, that's more that's more. what I'm like get, kind of getting at. You have given the majority of the truth, mm -hmm. and that I appreciate because there's people that wouldn't give any of it, mm -hmm. and there's people that give all of it. Well, why in, don't you be honest with me? What what exactly is going to come from all this? Because you say you're trying to help me out. But it just seems like you're just trying to incriminate me with all this evidence. It's not about me trying to incriminate you. Because if you, if you want to be honest, I already did. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know this, well, but... Honestly, it was decoy. Like that. Right. How long is this going to be? What's the end game? Oh, he can always go in whenever he wants. What I'm saying, what's your end game? What do you guys want? I, I just want to know why he asked to meet this 11-year-old girl for... Okay, well... I just want to know why you keep asking all these questions. Are you going to the police? Fine. You know, let's get an attorney. What's going to happen is what we want to know. I just, I don't know yet, man. I you just... Greg, if you keep making statements, they're just to be used against you. Okay. That's your choice at this point in time. I mean, they're all... You know, you got all these guys out here blowing you over it. I understand that. You think you can handle it. I don't think you're doing a very good job. But that's up to you. But don't think he has your best interest in hearts either. Okay. All right. Well, I am guess we're going to end this here. Well, uh, I mean, you know, you can, you can think I don't have your best interest at heart, but I'm still here talking to you, aren't I? Yeah, but what exactly do you want? Like, if this was to be seen by other people, do you think, what do you think they'd think of you if you've already admitted to CP? 
and I'm not saying I'm here to like send this video out, but <clears throat> if, if you've admitted to CP, if you admitted to the messages already, mm -hmm. if you've admitted to soliciting for mm -hmm. and then you just won't tell the truth, you change it from, oh, I won't, for you said here, I don't okay. think you're real well, anymore. Here's my official you, statement. Yeah. I'm never going to meet her. I don't believe anybody on the internet's real. As I like indulging in fantasy, that was probably my only time I was doing that one. And I'm never going to do it again. All right. I just think it's all. Well, I'm sorry. I can't really change your mind on that then. I right. Well, I mean, when you keep changing your answer from, I don't believe she's well, real anymore. You keep coming at me asking for uh, the same thing over and over and over and over and it's just like it doesn't feel like I'm going anywhere with this. So I'm going to go inside. Oh, I just want to know, is this going to be a criminal matter? What do you think? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. What do you think should it? What do you think it should be? Probably will be if you, you want to keep going like this, but I'm being honest with you. I don't plan to do anything. Never was really planning to do anything. Well, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's not even about this or that. Because, I mean, look, <clears throat> the, the second you admitted to these text messages, really the second you shut the door on your parents and said, hey, I got this, I got this, that's, that's, that's enough right there. Mm -hmm. That's enough to say, oh, he didn't get hacked, he sent all these. Okay. So, it's really about... At this point, like, you've already said, oh, well, I, I started to believe she was fake after the first couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But the first day you asked to meet her. Mm -hmm. So that had to be when you believe she was real. If you're saying the timetable of real and fake, okay. it was a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So basically, and you've already told me this, but it keeps changing because, you know, I know you're scrambling inside. I know it's, I, I know it's hard. Yeah. It's not. My I just got woken up from my sleep. Yeah. So, it's, it's, so basically, give me the exact timetable, if there is one, mm -hmm. where you started to believe she was fake, because it wasn't the first message, you weren't asking to set yourself up. It was after a couple of weeks is when I believed she was fake. Okay. Because it just seemed very, really weird the way she was talking, okay. the way she kept, you know, Okay. Answered, okay. It. So... Couple weeks. Give me a ballpark. Is that four, three, two? Give me a give me a ballpark. Probably about three. Okay. So, for twenty one days, you're asking for you're mm -hmm. asking for okay to meet up mm -hmm. to a girl you believe is real and eleven years old. Why? I'm just playing on a fantasy because I'm never gonna go. Just because I believe she's real does not mean I was gonna meet her. I do not really meet anybody. I, it's just something I was. That about. Okay. Well, you know, I don't necessarily believe believe that that's officially what happened, but if that's what you want to stick to, I mean, you know, okay. you obviously wanted. I mean, when's the last time you had? I don't even remember anymore. It's been a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was, I was that at one point. Okay. And, you know, have you ever had a girlfriend before? Yes. Okay. How long ago was that? <laughs> what S exactly do you want to do with it? Sim basically, has it been a long time? Yes. Okay. Look, I know you're not a okay? Okay. I know you're not. Because right. you said you talked mostly adults online. I'll stick with that. I'll believe that. Okay. I don't think you were going to have to with this girl because she was 11. Mm-hmm. What if, what if she told you she was seven or six? No. Okay. So there, so there was just something in your mind that there's like a cutoff. There, you're not like that where it's mm -hmm. like, no matter what the age, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So basically, what if she said she was 10? No. Okay. So 11 was kind of your limit for this type of stuff? Probably. Okay. So I don't think you saw 11 years old and were like, oh, I want to have with her because she's 11. Mm -hmm. I just think it's finally a girl that said she was in your area mm -hmm. that was willing. Okay. What do you think? That's what I think happened. I honestly, at this point, I don't know anymore. Because I don't really think about it like that. But I think you were. 
At that time, probably at that okay. time, but not. And I think that's why there was truly, had she given her address and said she had the new intent to go do it because it's been so long for you. Okay. I don't think it's, I don't think it's because. Okay. What are you trying to get at, please? I'm trying to get it. I think, I think that you did, of course, want to go meet her and have, but I don't mm -hmm. think it's because you're a. Is the... I just think it's because you haven't done it in so long. Mm -hmm. And that's how this rabbit hole kind of started in the first place, maybe. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of what happened, or? I guess. Do you think that's kind of, do you think it was probably going to happen had she given you what you wanted? No, because I don't really do that. I don't meet up. Okay. But again, that's why, but I, that's why I think, I know you don't really meet up. I don't think you ever have before, but I think this was going to be the first time because it's been so long. Mm, no, it was not. I'm sorry. I, I know you're not going to believe me, but. Honestly, I don't really feel like I'm ever going to meet a stranger because I honestly I've been trying to schedule meetups and stuff like that never happens. It's always fake or something like that. So I just don't do it. I so feel like it's scheduled meetups have you like with other adults? With friends. Wait, with friends that were fake? No, real friends. Scheduled meetups with were they girl or were they, like, yeah, were they were like woman? Like my friends, like, you know. Meet up and do it, or yeah. Okay, what happened? Did you end up doing it with them? No, it never happens. That's because either I back out or they back out. And at this point, I'm just like, whatever. Did you go to meet one time and they just weren't there? No. Okay. Well, where's the? Did they call you for the food? Well, okay. It obviously we're at the end of the conversation. Are we done here? Well, you can be done at any time, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm not holding you here. Okay. So, what was the entire point point of this then? To say, yeah, we got your decoy. We looked you up and all that. And that was it, just to put me on notice or something. Or you know, well, I guess what I want to kind of circle back to. How, how many how many files do you think on your are on your phone right now that you need to delete? Probably one or two at the most. Okay, how many have you deleted previously? Has it been in the thousands or like the hundreds? Barely any. Okay, maybe a few dozen? Probably. Okay. <coughs> how long have you had that phone for? I have no clue any. Okay, but that's kind of where the rabbit hole started on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. <coughs> <coughs> Jeez, well, I mean, mm, that sign says no soliciting. That's why I'm here. The sign said that I, I can't let you kids. Okay. But, um. well, Gregory, um, the cops are on the way, just letting you know. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So what was the point of doing all this? To get you to admit to more stuff than was in the messages. So your dad was right. You should have listened to him. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, cops are on the way. And uh, yeah, you're getting it. You're yeah, well, I love <laughs> Does it say police? Yep. And this is in the video? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is not a little bit. Dude, yeah, I know. God, dude. We don't even have like we have. All right, here. On the building. Yeah, here. Let's try to go in anyway. Here. We're here at the police station, the Riverside County Sheriff's Office. This says P O L I C E. Therefore, it is police presence in the video, literally. But we're heading in right now. No, doesn't look like they are. Oh, Alex. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Dial one, just press one.
Hi, um, I'm at the sheriff's office right now, it's right in front of the door. I would like to turn into evidence of the crime that I suspect took place. I'm at the sheriff's office right now, the Moreno, the Moreno Valley uh, place, and I just want to turn into evidence of a crime that I suspect took place. Um, on Maynard Lane, 8439. Try that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've tried to, like, I tried to call him to the house, but, like, we've had nobody come, so, I mean, I just figured I'd turn it into myself. Okay. Sounds good. This video is educational in context. Um, <clears throat> it's a statistical fact that 70% of people age 12 to 17 get messaged online. And that according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, you can go to nickmick.org, see that statistic for yourself. I mean, this is to inform parents and young youngsters about the dangers of what could happen online if left unmoderated. Keep your head on a swivel. I hope you learned something from this video. Another educational segment, if you do any texting to who you believe to be a younger lady under 18, then that's still a felony in a lot of states. And that's a fact too, you can look that up. That's educational with police presence. Leave a comment about how this video was educational. Um, I want everybody to learn to be safe and to be happy and celebrate. All right, so what's up guys? If you're sick of those ridiculous segments and are just are over these ridiculous terms of service, then be sure to join locals in the pinned comment. That's the new membership, that's the final membership. It'll never be paused, never, never be messed with. Um, you get to see a tons of videos on there, including stuff that's maybe too, uh, you know, that I feel safer posting on there and including a firefighter lieutenant getting arrested that I can't post till after trial, and also step to Rumble in the pinned comment. Rumble's completely free, it's another video platform where we don't have to abide by ridiculous TOS, and that actually supports what we do. So please sub, please sub on there. Um, yeah, we're, we're done with this platform. So, he did say to us today, like, we interviewed him, and he willingly inter was interviewed. He said that he's FaceTimed 11 year olds before, like real 11 year olds, and like, Phone. And here's a way to like, send you all that footage. And here's some of the printouts. I mean, they're not really anything concrete. Yeah. They're just being sent to minors online. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so this is all stuff sent to minors online. So this is uh, like, who, who are we talking about here? Um, um, so basically, so I think I believe some of these are like probably a decoy and some of them are to a real kid. See, I don't know. They're all mixed up. So I have the contact info of the people that kind of did gave this, gave all this to me. To yeah, and I can send you all that because that's who would really be able to answer all that. All I can send is the footage where he admits to doing all that stuff, and you know, little kids. And he says that he did. Right. He says <clears throat> he says that he did FaceTime um, a real eleven-year-old and you know, on the phone, mm -hmm. and I think that's just kind of. He said, uh, that's like all mixed up. There's nothing really in order there. What's up, guys? If you want to see this Stinghouse catch, um, it is on Locals in the pinned comment.
Um, obviously, it's way too spicy um, for here, so it's going to be on Locals in the pin comment. It's only $5 a month to join. And until February 1st, we're running a promo that you get your first month free if you sign up for monthly. So anyway, join Locals in the pinned comment. You get to see this, a fire lieutenant that got caught many, many, many others early and, of course, uncensored, including where I may or may not have shoved a prod. So... Be sure to check it out in the pinned comment because February 1st, the price monthly is going up to $7 a month because we hit 2,000 members so quick. The demand's so high, but we're giving you guys a free month until February 1st. But after that, it's going to be $7 a month, so get it now while it lasts.